<laughs> lads and lassies, welcome back to the YouTube and welcome to a video that I know a lot of you have wanted for a while and to be quite honest I've been procrastinating on it but we're in Dubai with Tom Ellis here. He used to wakeboard on the UK and the European Pro Tour. Now he's a personal trainer here in Dubai. He does like a wake fit thing, which you'll see in my next video. And uh, yeah, so he's gonna talk us through today some like sessions, what you should do in your off season and what you should do to get better wakeboarding in the gym. So yeah, we're here at 24 Fitness in Dubai. Uh, David is kind enough to come and join me and uh, I'm gonna put him through his paces, show you some fundamentals, what you can do on and off season, be strong, stay fit, injury free throughout. All right, so this is my first time in the gym since December, which is terrible, so I'm about to die. Let's go. So one of the most important things in wakeboarding is the posterior chain. So it's your bum, your legs, and your lower back. So it's one of the first things that we like to warm up uh, in the gym when we get going. Hey, sorry, I'm just gonna butt in a little bit here and there in the video because the audio wasn't great in there. There was a lot of music, a lot of things going on. So you can't always necessarily hear Tom, but I'll be here to kind of explain everything. Together. So the first exercise we did, it was more of a stretch. It was to stretch that posterior chain that Tom was talking about. So you basically get into a low squat and you just kind of hold it there for as long as you can. The second exercise we did, it's just a stock standard squat. You do it with a light weight and the idea is to do like 10 for 10 minutes. So basically if you can do 10 within like 40 seconds, you can have a 20 second break and then you're gonna hit it again and you're gonna do it for a total of 10 minutes. Following that, it's the box jump. This is obviously so normal because you're jumping when you're wakeboarding, so you should practice jumping in the gym. Set it to maybe waist height, then the idea is the same with the squats. You want to do 10 box jumps in one minute, and you want to do it for 10 minutes. It's the best exercise for wakeboarding. Deadlift's best. Yeah. All right, deadlifts apparently are the best exercise for wakeboarding. Also my least favorite problem. So with the deadlift, you want to do five sets of five. The idea is you want to go really heavy and you want to push yourself because this is like a power exercise. Sorry that, that's, I'm not good at it. The next two exercises, you want to superset them, which means you want to put one after the other with no break. It's kind of an easier one, so you want to do 10 to 15 reps, and you want to do at least four sets. After that, your heart's 100% pumping. So this machine really simulates being behind a boat. So we're going to engage our legs, and at the same time, we're going to use our forearms, our biceps, and our back. So it's very simple. Pull the cables out, get into squat position, Pull. Really light. <laughs> like this, is it? Yeah, yeah. So we've just been in this fixed position. So now we're going to get our hamstrings to work a little bit harder. We jump on here and then we're doing some hammy curls. So as I mentioned before, you're supersetting these with the previous exercise. So this is a, uh, a workout we've stolen from CrossFit, trademark, registered, whatever it may be. It's called Fran. So it's two exercises. The first one being a thruster with a barbell. We use an empty barbell for these purposes. So it's a front squat, into an overhead press. We put it down. We go straight into... And we go straight back over here. 
We don't rest for this one. <laughs> Your turn. I am going to die on this one. I can't really do pull ups. Okay. <laughs> Tom said that you have to do as many of this as you can. Like, literally, just keep going until you die. And then, like, the next session, add a bit more weight to the bar. And you can even add weight to your legs to make the pull ups even harder. It's not as easy as he makes it look. So we always like to finish a workout with high intensity but load carry. As we all know, when we wakeboard, especially in the beginning, our forearms, forearms get really sore. So this is a really good way to get good forearm strength as well as core and legs. So we're going to pick up the kettlebell. Just gonna hold him, just going to carry him. Then we're going to speed it up a little bit. That's just one set. We're gonna do five of those. <laughs> oh shit. It's not that heavy, don't worry. Okay. I'm so sweaty, it's ridiculous. So, that's basically the exercises. Tom's gonna talk you through in a second how often you should do it and stuff like that. But for fun, we're gonna do this rope thing. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just don't, I know, because my friend did it, he like slid down and burned his hands. Don't yeah. do that. This is all about forearm grip, so <laughs> after the kettlebells, it's gonna be nice and tasty. Okay, that's it. Those kettlebells, you really feel them in the forearm. Legless rope climbs. Let's go. So as you can see, I'm sweating so much, and I just did a demo, but Tom's gonna talk you through like how often you should do it, and how long it should take, and everything like that. So I'll pass it to him. So there you have it. Very simple, very easy. On and off season, you wanna be doing this two to three times a week at the very minimum. And each session should probably take you about 50 minutes to one hour, depending on how good you are and how much you progress. But it's very simple. Keep it easy, and that's all. All right, Tom did say one thing to me. He was like, if I could go back now to like 10 years ago when I was weightboarding more, I wish I'd done this. And to be honest, I probably should do it more. So definitely, if you're like up and coming, hit the gym because Tom, Tom knows. He's, what, he's older and he's wiser. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you the information you wanted. Thank you to Tom. Give him a follow on his Instagram. I'll put in the, that the at sign here and if you're in Dubai go to his wake fitness camp on Wednesday nights and uh, go coaching with him at Sea Riders. Cheers guys! Last thing and um, basically that was actually so good to do that with Tom. I've been meaning to do it for ages and I have a personal trainer lined up at home to do more of this so there'll definitely be a bit more on the channel but don't worry I'm not becoming a fitness YouTuber. I just know people want to know what's going on in the winter, how do you train, and also me too, like I actually want to learn how to look after my body better to reduce chance of injury and to increase my performance. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and this time it is a legit goodbye, so if you liked it, then like it, and maybe I, maybe I am a fitness YouTuber. Cheers guys!